What is up guys, Jim's Lucky to hear of a new video and today we got something really special that I've been working on for a couple of months and I really hope you guys actually like what I've been working on and we might have some more special surprises coming along in a few months. Yes guys, I got a Miss Pac-Man arcade machine right here. I've had it for about a couple of months now, and this machine took about two months to semi-restore. I'll call it a semi-restore, because when I got it, none of this worked. TV was messed up, uh, the software was jacked up. I'll show you some clips of what it was doing. And uh, this coin door never had lights when I got it. So I had to mod that. These were rusty now. Now they move again. Didn't have a key. This thing was slamming like crazy when we got it. Um, got a new power cord. I rigged this to make the lock back here because it didn't have a lock in it. It was a giant hole. This washer covered it. So yeah, I fixed that. I got a new switch because that was broken also. But yeah, I've done a lot of work to this machine. It even has a new joystick. It still has the original mechanism. The red part still original. But it's like a new joystick and I got brand new buttons. And on here we have Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and we got the fast versions of it. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, it has all the games and it saves your high score. You can see the screen burn only because the uh, light is on up there. But when the lights are off, you don't see any of the screen burn. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's show you some of the uh, hardware. So here's the little key I got, you shove it in there. And here's all the magic. So, I gave it, these are new, but I scratched one, unfortunately. I might have to replace it again. But yeah, these lights in here are all added. This did never have lights, but I wanted to light up. I did all this soldering, it's not beautiful, but I did it. And then this whole thing right here, it was never actually part of my machine either. So it was missing all this, all these and this. But I have someone that was willing to sell me this part off another project I did. But all, so I got the count meter working right there. That works. The credit button and the test switch. If you pull this switch. Oh, well, make it out. If you pull this switch, you get that option menu on the machine. And if you have, you can make it to where you can charge folks, make the game harder and all kind of stuff. Also in here, this piece of wood that I cut out, it, this did not exist either. It's supposed to exist, but whoever had it, ripped it out. So I found a skinny enough piece of wood to fit in here, and I did all this wiring. It was a hot mess, it's a lot better. And here's some of the original stuff, like some of the stuff that used to go to the board. Old, uh, that button's in decent shape. Here's one that's in horrible shape. Here's one of your ones, look at that. Woof. Here's the old joystick. And that part was really chewed up. Another old part. And that's the other coin counter. This is the one that came with it. This actually works though, but I just gotta keep all that like the how that is. But yeah, I replaced the fuse holder. Um, got some light bulbs in there, a bunch of coins. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff. I actually will show y'all guys the inside of this machine real quick. Also, the marquee right here. Um, you can't really see the lights on, but this marquee bulb was blown, but I put a new one in. See so how it works. So let me show you guys the inside of this real quick. Getting my second key, putting it in, and watch this. It's on right now. When I open this door, watch this. Kills the power. 
Let's do it heavy. Hold it one hand. Okay, here's the door. It's number the an old sheet where it used to hold the instruction manual, which I don't got, but you see how beat up this was, I managed to fix this. So like two metal holding it. And here's the fun stuff, you gotta be careful in here. Cause we got this dangerous TV. Now, this motherboard here, I swapped it out. Got a whole new little motherboard for this uh, monitor. I uh, refurbished this monitor because um, a lot of friends helped me learn how to redo it. But basically, um, the, the monitor needs to be recapped. It had a bunch of issues. I actually have videos of this thing shooting electricity at me, which I'll show you guys now. Yeah, that was crazy if you saw that, what it did. So yeah, this thing shot electricity at me. The motherboard had an issue, so this is a whole refurbished motherboard um, chassis in there. I even claim, you can see how shiny it is now. So yeah, the monitor is fixed up, looks perfect now. That's a new piece of wood I added. This I hooked up, they had all these wires cut. I put some more of these new ones and now it works. Yeah, you be careful, I'm keeping some stuff going on. I've installed a brand new power supply. The funny part is this power supply, so you can see it's still, it's, it's drew it on there. The uh, connector right here, I had to extend it with these special wires because this little connector adapter was too short. So it would have hanged like right here, which I didn't want. <clears throat> and this motherboard, I hired someone, uh, I forgot his name, my bad, but I hired someone on eBay and I shipped it off to him and he was a really cool guy. And he helped me fix this uh, nightmare motherboard. And I can show you some more. Probably I'll show you later down the road what it did, but it was basically glitching and all kind of stuff. Matter of fact, I'll show you now. So, yeah, this motherboard was a hot mess. It um, really did not work. With, honestly, honestly, all my friends thought, no, you're gonna get that junk back working, but nope, we got the original board working. It still has a few flaws, unfortunately. And it's the new fuse holders. That one I retired due to uh, due to that new power supply. I don't know. We kept having issues. Honestly, this original power supply still probably works just fine. Honestly, but at this point, I got someone know of it glitching and not sure if, if this had an issue or not. I I already ordered this because I had ordered this before I did this. And I was like, you know what? That's just laying on the ground. Put that in there, it's more reliable, I guess. Oh, and it got a brand new power cord here. Brand new power cord. I, uh, it had one of these USB screws, I mean, not USB, my bad, these little zip ties, that's uh, true. So I found some in the uh, Home Depot and I copied the same way how to get the new one. And then down here, this connector here, which I need to redo with some of this stuff. I don't know if it's touching it's plugged in, but, but basically this connector wasn't even being used. Like it was all, hot mess right there. Up here, they have these two touching to get that switch. So I had to rig that up to fix the switch wiring. And then now look, TV's on. Very dangerous TV by the way. Very, see, I, I learned so much about these though. It's pretty cool, I understand to use it. But yeah, on there, that little thing, that's the volume, that's the reset. I used to use this button when the guy modified it so I can go to the options. But now I no longer need that because I got the switch up there. But yeah, that's the power supply running, TV running, and this switch is like a safety switch. So you pull it forward, it keeps on, and that's when you open it. Because see, when you push it, it's only that goes off. So yeah, that that's what controls all the safety features in this uh, cabinet. Then you just lift this door, you put it there. Which means you can do that. Okay, I actually did it with my hand. Okay, one hand. And there you go. That's how you uh, get into the machine. I'm trying to move it with one hand. Well, I still got film it. This thing's heavy, y'all. Uh, and yeah, that's about it well, for um what I did to it. On the other then I sand this. I was thinking about painting this back. The original colors. I didn't paint it. I don't think it was ever that color. Someone else repainted it. But yeah, that's with all this. But yeah, the coin door works. And you can also it also charges you money still and everything. But yeah, 
let me do one gameplay, I guess, of me playing it. Also, here's this cool arcade one-up stool I got for it. But look at the coin door light stuff. Never had that before working. And look at the beautiful marquee, which needs replacing too hot right away, unfortunately. All, all of this, this is supposed to be pink. Thank God for the pink, so yeah, it's, it's, it's messed up, but I don't know. It's, I'm keeping it as is for now, but there you go. It lights up. Coin door now lights up beautiful. Monitor works perfectly. And it's on free play. But let me show y'all guys our gameplay. At least I'll beat the first level because it's a little cutscene. But I have it on fast, by the way. I ain't gonna try to beat my score. I'm just gonna beat the level so I can see that cutscene. So I really want to show y'all the cutscene at least. And I have it on easy, so that's why I'm doing so well. So yeah, I'm really good. I got good at this game. I ain't gonna lie, I never thought I would get into um, Pac Man like this. Yeah, I'm trying to cut this gameplay short because I want to say a few more, then I was gonna be too long. Yeah, so after I beat this level, y'all see that cutscene. I'm uh, cutting this off and I'll show y'all maybe one like, a glimpse of the Pac Man. Okay, here's the scene. Alright, that's the gameplay of Miss Pac Man and here's Pac Man. Oh, my bad, please go on one. It's Pac Man. I'll just show you like a couple seconds of it. But yeah, that's Pac Man. But yeah, that's all the special features about this machine with the cool lights and the marquee and having all these extra games on here. It looks blurry on the counter due to my phone for some reason. But it's not blurry like that uh, when you look at it. But yeah, otherwise it plays perfectly fine. Really nice um, cabinet from the 1980, I think 1981. Yeah, so artwork is a little faded, unfortunately. It needs to be done. Like it's supposed to be pink, it's messed up. But I can't even see, I just turned the lights off so I can see a better gameplay of it. But yeah, that's about it though. Really nice cat. So that's all for Miss Pac-Man, really an awesome machine. I did a lot of work on this machine because I didn't know nothing about arcade machines, by the way, y'all. This is my first ever one I owned. Cause I didn't want no arcade one up, I wanted the real deal. And uh, yeah, it was a fun project, but I might have something else coming in a couple of months that y'all guys are gonna love. Y'all gonna think it's cool. Like, I'm gonna give you hands, another arcade machine. <laughs> uh, folks, I was crazy to buy it, but I think it's cool. If this video can get at least five likes, I will um, probably in like two months, supposedly it'll be coming. And I don't know, two months, I'll do another video to show y'all what it is and actually scratch that if this video gets five likes i'll i'll put a little a little clue on my um my bad y'all i forget what it called but my community page on here yeah i put on my community post and that, that'll be the clue of what the next machine will be but yeah till next time guys peace